Welcome back to Sidelines TV. I'm here today with Brandon Phillips. Brandon, how are you? Good, how you doing? Great, thanks. Brandon is a polo player, oddly enough, from Canada. That's a switch. How'd that happen? Uh, my family grew up, you know, with horses, and uh, it's kind of my father played polo as an amateur, my brother, and there's a club in Toronto that were a bunch of amateur players, and just kind of grew up a very horsey background. Uh, my uncles are professional show jumpers, and my brother's in with horse racing, and so we all, uh, my mother fox hunted, so we always involved with horses, and polo was just something we, we actually did for fun. Um, and then I became professional when I was 17, so I got got lucky. So that necessarily brought you to Wellington. Yeah, I was. I started playing in Toronto when I was 11, um, and then I was uh, just playing off and on, playing hockey, doing everything that every Canadian kid does. And then got asked to um, to play professionally when I was 17, and got invited down here by a team, uh, White Birch Farm. Who are you playing for now? Now I was playing for a guy called Jeff Hildebrandt. Uh, he's from Houston. The team's called Tonkawa. Um, you have an interesting story that I think is really triumphant. When you were 14, you were diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which seems pretty scary. And here you are all these years later, really healthy and kicking ass. How did that go? Uh, lucky, but it was now I was 14. Woke up one morning after I had a, I mean, I had a polo game on the Wednesday, a rugby game on Friday. Had a soccer game on the Saturday night and woke up Sunday morning with uh, my leg was swollen. And I thought it felt like growing pains. Um, long story short, went to the hospital, thought it was a blood clot. Then about 20 hours later, they found a tumor um, wrapped around my left ureter and it shut off my left kidney. And basically what happened, it hit the uh, lymph nodes, which so my leg wasn't draining fluid. Mm -hmm. That's why it started to ache. So that was... Uh, then diagnosed me with that, and it was stage four uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So they gave me a bit of a time limit. They didn't think I was going to go last too much longer, but we got lucky and started with a, a really strong protocol, chemotherapy. And four months later, I was I was good. wasn't wasn't too fun for those four months, but we got through it. Yeah, but it's so amazing that you're this healthy. Yeah, I, I was. So I was uh, just turned 15 when I came uh, recovered, and when I was 17, I started playing professionally. So it was. Kind of that time when I was, it was a summer, um, that I was sitting in the hospital and going through all this and it kind of, I switched gears and, and, and really actually that time made me feel like that's, I wanted to play polo. I wanted to get, you know, through this illness, get it over with, it's a pain in the butt and, and move on. And so I kind of, that kind of changed where my thought process was going, what I wanted to do with myself and and then two years later I was a professional. So. And playing high goal polo too, not just playing polo. Yeah, playing, uh, I started my first year, first job was with White Birch Farm playing the 22 goal uh, down here. Uh, then I played the first month of 22 and they hired me then for the 26 for the next month. Uh, so I played the, the Gold Cup and then that summer the US Open in, uh, in New York. So I kind of got thrown into high goal. I hadn't played above eight goal polo in my whole life and then that thrown into I played actually three eight goal games was the highest I'd ever played in Toronto, and then he played the 22 and 26 that that first year. That's great. Um, what are your plans when the season wraps up here? My plans uh, we're going to stay around and play the spring season at Grand Champions, mm -hmm. so I'll be be playing there uh, till end of May. Uh, also in May I'm going to go to Mexico as well. I think, um, play a, a, a charity match in Mexico City. Uh, and then June, I'll be in New York, in, well, in Greenwich, Connecticut. Going to play the East Coast Open there. And then I'll be off to Michigan for July and August, which is a new club starting in northern Michigan. What's the name of it? Uh, Bliss Polo Club. Uh, it started from Scott Devon, the sponsor place here, Steve Van Andel place here, uh, Paul and Sarah Knapp. They're all from Grand Rapids, Michigan. And so that's, Bliss is about four hours north of there, so they started a club close to there so we've been going up there the last couple of years. Sounds like it needed to be there with that many great players. Exactly there's a lot of big sponsors there and then they wanted to stay home and we're sick of traveling every summer so they basically built a club there so uh, we've, we've been going up there and, and it's it's been fun. So it's brand new but it's a it's a really nice place. Great well Brandon thanks for taking the time today. All right thank you. I really appreciate it. For Sidelines TV I'm Rob Jordan.